Hello guys, thank you for watching. Welcome to my kitchen makeover video. I am so ready for this. So if you are new here, I mentioned a couple videos back. We bought the Cafe Series appliances. We got the white ones. I think it's a matte white. And then all of the doors are gold. And I've never seen this stuff in person. I've only seen it online. I've seen it on Instagram. So I cannot wait to see it in person. It's almost 9.30. They told us they'll be here between 9.30 and 1.30. And I wanted to make this video all about the kitchen. So I'm going to give you an update on the pantry. And then we're going to reorganize and clean the kitchen and this is going to be like a very satisfying before and after i hope you enjoy the video if you are new here please consider subscribing i would love to have you i just hit 300 000 subscribers and i i honestly like i never thought i would hit this point so i'm so thankful and i'm so happy to have everyone that's already here so thank you guys so so much please like the video if you enjoy it and let's get started all right so what would this video be without a proper before and after here's currently what we're working with if it sounds a little bit echoey that's because we pushed everything out of the way so that way so that way there's like a ton of space to work and they don't have to push our stuff out of the way like the counter stools are out of there, the table, etc. Um, I'm really excited. This is random for the snack drawer on the fridge because with the baby, I think that's gonna be super nice to have. And I'm not going to start with the cleaning quite yet. I feel like I should wait until the appliances are in because I'm sure the counters will get dirty and all of that. But I do want to start by going through a lot of the cabinets and drawers and straightening that stuff up. The first cabinet I want to organize is this one because I've been thinking about this and saying I was going to do this for several weeks now and I know a couple months ago I organized this in a video so you can see I really haven't kept it up that well I always am in need of towels down here like some dish towels to put up here or towels to wipe down forest towels to wipe down the counters and sometimes I have them and I don't even see them and then I use paper towels so I really need like a towel station And as I'm gathering all of the items and getting everything out of here, I'm starting to section things out. And there were some things that I decided I wouldn't keep down here any longer. So that's one section, etc. We will get into all of the sections once I show you the after. I always recommend these organizers. I do have a liner on the actual cabinet. And then I have everything in these plastic bins because if anything spills, I don't have to worry about the cabinets being damaged. And I do show you guys in just a second. There was a spill I wasn't aware of so I had no idea how long it had been that way and everything was nice and protected in this organizer I'm showing you right here I think it was a lot of hand soap everything was sticky and a total mess in here so that's why I'm all about organizers I recommend them and talk about them all the time I do have my Amazon page down below and I know I have a section on there with like tons of different organizers I'm also combining as many things as I can. So there were a few different bags of dishwasher pods. All of those went into one bag. I did combine a couple of soaps. I'm just trying to save space any way I can. I always really try to have a little leftover space in anything that I'm organizing. So that way when I'm running in the house with the groceries, I don't have to work around anything. I can just set things down and go on with my day. I'm starting to add everything back in now. I'm going to start with soaps and multi-surface sprays and work my way from right to left. I will give you a little spoiler alert. A lot of you guys thought we were going to switch out the sink for a white one. It's stainless right now, and I always talked about how much I loved our white sink at the old house, but we are not doing that. At least we're not planning on it. And once the stove gets here in a few minutes, you guys will see that the top of it is actually, I don't know if it's stainless steel, but it's silver, so I think it matches with the sink pretty well. Baby, don't be shy. So here's the after, I'll give you a close up, but first 
this is everything that I got out of there. Those disinfecting wipes, that's empty. There's like a little scrubby a bathroom product, that's a DIY. I think the recipe for that's on my Happy Home with Alexandra Instagram. And I feel like there's no reason for a bathroom product to be under a kitchen sink. And these last four are for the non-toxic house cleaning products I like to make. And I have a bin in the pantry for some of that stuff and then a bin in my office. So I think these are going to go in the pantry is how it turned out. So I do have a little area for towels. I told you that was like one of the things I really needed. All of the all natural and non-toxic stuff I use on a daily basis is right here. So it's the baby bottle soap. Then all of the other products are over here. I have so many multi-surface cleaners and hand soaps. And then the pods for the dishwasher are all the way on the right because that's where the dishwasher is. The stuff in the very back is like the stronger stuff I use every once in a while, but not on a daily basis. And then I put some rubber gloves in there and actually. And now we are on to a little bit of light organizing while we wait for those appliances to get here. I always think I have like so much more time in the day than I actually do. So I didn't get to do a whole lot of like extreme organizing, but all of the drawers and cabinets that were fairly messy, I wanted to make sure to straighten up in this video. And I do need to get some separators for this drawer, but I wanted to put similar items in the same space so that way I know what I have in there. I have spatulas and knives in here as well as oven mitts so I do have separators in that drawer and then this is where a lot of the drinking glasses are and water bottles we use those all day every day so that needed a little bit of light straightening and then the last one I'm going to do in just a second here is the baby cabinet so I am fairly good about keeping things semi-organized but every once in a while I just need to spend a couple minutes and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and it isn't too disheveled that happens with everyday life so that's what I'm focusing on here and then after we're done with this cabinet the appliances get here and I'll show you guys what everything looks like and then we will unwrap everything there was so much packaging on all of these appliances I couldn't even believe it like every section had plastic or a protector on it so we do spend some time getting all of that off well guys look what's here all the appliances except for the microwave that one's still back ordered when we ordered everything it was all back ordered and now the microwave they told us they don't know so it could be a week it could be a month I have no idea I'm hoping it wouldn't be any longer than a month but the fridge is here the stove is here and the dishwasher i need to go through and like pull all the plastic off but i thought i'd give you a little peek inside the gold um on all of these shelf things that are going to go in here the box is right here so we'll get to that in just a second i'm going to wipe it all down and this has an autofill so i guess if you put a water glass right here it knows how much to put in it so that'll be really fun to try out. This is like a snack drawer. Everything's all wrapped up. And then the freezer, it's still sealed, but it has three rows. So there's like a top row, a really skinny second row right here. And then the third row is really deep. And then there's like smaller slots right here. And this is the stove he always wanted. So it has the top drawer or what do you call top that? Drawer, top oven. The top oven, the bottom oven. And then it's what, like fuel or whatever? Dual fuel, so it's electric ovens and gas range. Cool, cool. So someone's coming in a couple of days because we don't have the right like hookup in the back for this. So I guess the stove works, but this won't work for a couple of days. And then we all know about this. And the last thing is the dishwasher. It feels super solid. I still have like all the plastic. I keep saying that it has these things. I don't really know what that's for. I guess it just like holds stuff in place. And then there's this stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, I think that's for like a wine glass. There's a silverware thing up here. And then this is pretty standard down here. I think I'll pull these out since we have that silverware thing up here. I am super excited. I'm just sleep deprived if I don't sound very excited, but I'm very, 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 very excited. And you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. 
I wanted to start by wiping everything down and then like I said before, the packaging was pretty extreme. So we're going to work on that too. We have a lot of things, almost everything in coolers from the old refrigerator. So I'm going to take all of that stuff out as well. I kept finding more and more bags of food. I kept thinking I was done and then there was something else. So it does take me a while to get the refrigerator set up, but luckily for you guys, this is in super speed. So it doesn't take too long for you to watch and sit through. I think this stove is so pretty. I'm really, really excited about that. It has six burners on it and we will be set and ready to go. I'm wiping down the dishwasher now and then I will be back to the fridge for a little while. One thing we plan on looking into is redoing the cabinets around the fridge. We would really like one above it that comes out as far as the refrigerator because it's pretty far back there. And then also adding a piece of cabinets on the sides of the fridge to like wrap it and make it look a little more finished. The side is black as you can see right here. So it's a pretty extreme contrast. And I just think that would look a lot better. That was actually something that Chad brought up and I was like, I'm so glad he said that because that is exactly what I was thinking. We are onto the refrigerator shelves now for the door. So that's what's in this box. I'm going to unwrap all of these. All of the larger ones go on the right side and then the shelving on the left side. It's like really narrow. I think it's for salad dressings, hot sauce, smaller bottles like that. And now that it's all wiped out, I'm going to start adding in all of the food from the old refrigerator. It does take a while for it to get down to the temperature it needs to be at. It's all like room temperature when it arrives. So I'm trying to hurry and do my best to get this done as fast as possible. And if you guys are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. I feel like I've been talking about like this video for so, so long. So I'm really glad to finally be able to get this up for you. And while I was doing this, I kept forgetting that we now have this snack drawer. If you guys have one, let me know what you keep inside. I keep like going through so many different ideas and I haven't completely decided. So I'm definitely open to your ideas. I feel like a lot of people probably keep their lunch meat and cheeses in here. But if you keep anything else in there, let me know in the comments.
So now we are finally on to doing some cleaning. The first thing I'm going to do is get all of the excess off the counters as usual. That's the way I always start these cleaning videos. And then I'm going to wipe everything down. There are some dishes in the sink too. So after the counters, we will get to that. Maybe you could be my salvation. I'm taking out the recycling, a few parts from the old refrigerator. We're going to be keeping that one in the garage. And then all of the cooler bags, I put those in the hall closet. And now I'm wiping off the sink area. I just get 200% every day cause I own it. I'm fighting all of my life. I'm bad and I know it. If I could just be a little better, maybe you could be my salvation. We are almost done. We're about to do our walkthrough. First though, I am finally loading up the dishwasher. There was a little more packaging on there to take care of. And one thing I noticed is the tone of gold is completely different on the appliances and on like all of the hardware on the cabinets and the faucet. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm really not like a super matchy person. It doesn't bother me too much, but let me know if you think it looks strange, if I should swap anything out. I don't know, I'm just interested to hear what you guys think. So as you can probably tell, it's several hours later. I've been waiting for Chad to watch Forty Boy, but he's been on a work call for a long time. So I'm gonna baby wear if you hear him in the background. Sorry, I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys how everything turned out. First, we'll give you guys an overview. So the after is obviously a lot more bright and white, and I just love seeing all the new stuff in here, except for the microwave, of course. But I mean, how me is it? that I have everything except one piece. That is like how all my videos go. So I guess that fits pretty well. And here's the inside of the fridge. If you guys would like me to film an organization on the fridge, thumbs up the video and I will do that if there's a lot of likes. I started to organize it, but it was taking a really long time and the fridge had to get up to the right temperature or down, I guess. So I just threw everything in there so that that could happen really quickly. And I actually forgot about the snack drawer while I was doing this, I'm turning the light on over there. So yeah, I started filling the fridge and then I was like, oh wait a minute, I have a snack drawer. I was thinking I would do like all the baby stuff in here, but then I realized I don't really have a spot in the regular fridge for like stuff like this. So let me know if you have any ideas. I really love these dividers though, because it doesn't like sink into a slot. It just slides like that, so it can be moved whenever you want. We are keeping the old fridge in the garage, so all the frozen food is still in that fridge because this one is still not up to temperature. But I really, really like that there are three different sections. And then it also has this that flips out right here. I showed you guys this stuff, but I'll give you another overview real quick. Um, it does come with this, which is really cool. I know there's like tons of accessories that they offer separately, so I think that's the only one it comes with. I didn't unwrap anything in here but it's a regular oven i think i don't think there's any other things in here that are too too exciting so there's a double rack in the bottom and then a single rack in this one there's at least two versions of the dishwasher i have the cheaper one when it comes to a dishwasher i just feel like it kind of is what it is um but i did start to load it up i don't know if this is interesting or not let me know what you guys think that little thing is for and then the bottom is just regular. The last thing I did is straighten up a few cabinets. I didn't get through all of them like I hoped, but I'll show you a quick overview of what I did do. We have tons of water bottles and it just gets like the lids start to get really messy and go all over the place. So I keep them in a container right here. Sometimes we have them like without the lid at home. So that's why I don't spin them on when I put them away. You guys, I think I showed this too, didn't I? That's what the under the sink area looks like now. I have so many towels right there. That was like the biggest issue. And then I kind of straightened up this just a tiny bit. 
Oh. And the last thing are all of these baskets. So I bought these at Home Goods. I've been looking for pantry baskets for a very, very long time because we didn't have any like storage separator stuff down here. So it was just a mess. And to keep the paper towel, the trash bags, that one's full of waters. This one is the basket I was talking about earlier. So like the distilled water, white vinegar, all that kind of stuff is in there. And then the last one is just random storage. It's that bowl that you guys love and then some aprons. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Please subscribe if you're new here. Check out the links below. I always link tons of recent videos and more. And I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.